Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. So I invite you to read the question above. Um, put your answer in the comments. It doesn't matter if you get the answer right. That's not the point. The point is to learn together as a group. So put your answer in the comments, pause this video and then play it back for the correct answer. So our question this week goes as follows. Morning report has ended and the nurse decides which of the following patients should be assessed first. This is a priority type question, so nursing students and graduates tend to get worried about these types of questions. So here's our possible answers. A, the patient who's been sitting up for breakfast and is complaining of back pain. B, the patient with peripheral vascular disease who has intermittent claudication from an arterial occlusion. C, the patient complaining about his care from the previous evening. Or D, the patient on bed rest who is complaining of calf pain and has a swollen, reddened calf. Now, if you've tuned in to our review series or ever been taught by us in a live review or have our online package, you would know this is one of those woo, woo, woo questions where if you see this, you should know this is an emergency. This requires immediate attention. The correct answer, of course, is D, because what does red swollen calves represent? That represents a DVT, also known as a deep vein thrombosis, which, of course, is a medical emergency, because if that dislodges and goes to the lungs, that's pulmonary embolism. If that dislodges and goes to the brain, that is a stroke. If that dislodges and goes to the heart, that's a heart attack or myocard myocardial infarction, which is a mouthful. Um, so of course the correct answer is D, right? Because it's one of those, oh no, that could really be a problem times where you need to immediately recognize that as an emergency. A, the patient who's been sitting up for breakfast and his back is hurting, that's no big deal. Perhaps it's related to positioning. B, somebody with peripheral vascular disease who has intermittent claudication from a known arterial occlusion, that's expected. And C, somebody complaining about care from the previous evening, although you're going to want to decelerate that situation, is definitely not going to be prioritized. So for the answer to this question and more, um, feel free to join our complete study program. Thank you so much for joining me today on In the Know, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.